Hello everybody, good morning. In fact, not, it's not good morning, it's good afternoon because we are doing something slightly different today. It's a Sunday, we are at work and we're doing the night shift. Uh, all this week we're doing, well I'm doing some work for Boots and um, yeah, it involves doing night work, uh, which means I start on a Sunday, finish on a Friday morning and uh, do it during the night. So it's a one o'clock in the afternoon right now on Sunday. We gotta go pick up a trailer, then go to Cardiff. Truck's in the background. I've already washed it as well this morning. So we're washed, we're good to go, checks are done. Need to open up the gate, because obviously the gate is locked at the moment, so let's go open the gate up. And then, uh, yeah, go pick up a trailer. And then we have gotta go to Cardiff. Cardiff? Okay, that gate should now be opening. Yes, it is. Yeah, so we've got to go pick a trailer up and then go to Cardiff. The issue is um, that we've got to go to Boots in, in the town centre and it's literally a high street branch. So I very, very well may need to... Um, sorry, the uh, audio cut off then. So yeah, I very well may need to go through um, um, people. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go through um, a public footpath with shops either side. Basically, what you get in the town. So that's what we're gonna have to do. Let's put this GoPro on. So then you can see what I can see. When it's ready, come on. Right, so let's get this GoPro turned on. There we go. Now you can see what I can see. Let's click you on. Like so. Right. Let's crack on. I know where it is I've got to go to pick up the trailer. Or kind of, that's something I want to talk about in a sec. I know where I've got to go to pick up the trailer, but I don't know whereabouts the trailer is in that place. So, um, yeah, so we... <laughs> Got to try and find the trailers as well, yeah. Let's go. We do need to be in Cardiff for half past four this afternoon, um, and it's a Sunday, so all the shops should be shut by four o'clock. And um, I'm hoping uh, it's going to be really quiet. That's the whole point of this job. You um, you deliver it when the shops are closed after hours, so that it should be quiet. So I've got to come here again tomorrow for half past seven. So it's an even even later one. And I reckon I'm going to be finishing tonight about midnight, one o'clock, I hope. Anyway, I don't really want to be getting back too much later than that. So I can go to bed. It's just it's really awkward. It's the first time I've ever done this and the boss reckons I can just treat it as a normal night out, in which I think he means I deliver to the place. And then when I'm there, I've got to help unload and then when it's all unloaded I then just go to sleep. They sort it all out and then put all the rubbish back on or something. So I'm not 100% sure what I've got to do. I've got to give them a phone call in a few uh, in a few minutes just to find out what exactly I've got to do. But it's all new to me. <laughs> You're going to see it as I see it. It's all new. I'm not going to film in the place where I'm getting the trailer from but I will be filming um, when I get to Cardiff, definitely. And when we're actually driving through the, uh, through what I think I've got to go through. So yeah, anyway, let's go pick up the trailer and I'll uh, rendezvous with you in a bit. Right, we're loaded. We uh, got the trailer on, we've checked inside and we're off to Cardiff. Um, on the way out, I um, bumped into one of our other guys who normally does this work. And he's filled me with absolute confidence with the job. <laughs> he's never got anything nice to say about it. Oh, this is a bit tight. He's never got anything nice to say about it, the job. And uh, he, he was basically the same just then as well. Telling me, apparently. Well, I, I already know that when we get there, I've got to help unload. And he's, he's explained to me a little bit what the procedure is. Uh, apparently I'll be in the back pumping it onto the tail lift there, take it from the tail lift out. And then I park up and then they call me over when it all needs to get back on. So that's that's fair enough, that's simple enough. But apparently now when I take this trailer back to, to unhitch, um, 
apparently, if it's before a certain time, I've got to unload all the rubbish. But not only that, sometimes they want you to reload it again for the next day, which is like technically the same day, but later on. Um, which I'm not happy about. Once I get, get back to the yard and the trailer's off, that's it, I'm going. I'm not supposed to load it, surely. They got their own loaders for that. So anyway, we'll see. I don't think it'll happen today because I'll be back way before six, I'm hoping anyway. But it could possibly happen in the next four, four days. I'm also seriously hoping that I am back on containers. Because, yeah, I just, I've, at the moment, I don't want to keep doing this, but I might really enjoy it. You never know. It's just seeing the kids and seeing the girlfriend. Um, my girlfriend works at home, so I will see her during the day, but like she'll be working, so I won't actually see her. I see her work, working, do you know what I mean? It's different. She's a different person when she's working. And I won't see my kids because they'll be at school. And I have to go back to work again when they finish school. Never mind. Anyway, so we're on to, off our way to Cardiff. In other news, um, a couple of months ago I bought um, a thousand pound MacBook Air a couple of months ago. Um, a couple of days ago I sold it. <laughs> um, so I sold it to my mate, so shout out to my mate Craig Ashford. He bought it off me, 800 quid. Makes rakes and all that, so I lost a couple of hundred, but it is a good laptop, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, it just, um, with my new GoPros, um, it wasn't. It was just wasn't letting me edit very well. It was all jittery. Uh, just it couldn't cope basically with the enhanced video quality that I was filming in. And I bought the MacBook specifically for editing. Um, so it was basically a thousand pound wasted, as far as I could tell. I've I've uh, already recorded a video and I've brought, and I already started editing it, and it took me literally an hour to edit about ten minutes worth of footage, just because it just kept buffering and jittering and I just couldn't edit it. It was literally impossible to edit and I got so wound up with it that um, I advertised it for sale and then the same night my mate offered me money for it so I was like yeah okay go on. So yes I've sold my £800, uh, well £1,000 MacBook Air for £800. So Luke what are you going to edit on I hear you ask? Well let me tell you this I've been and bought a brand new PC it's going to be at home all the time so I won't be able to edit on the move but I will be able to edit at home, possibly in bulk, and a lot faster because it is a beast of a machine. I, I've got uh, an Intel i7 quad-core processor. Um, I think it's like 3.4 gigahertz, and it's, I can't remember what series it is. I think it's series 7000. So uh, an i7 series 7 or something like that. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. I've got 128 gigabytes of state drive, three terabyte hard drive, and, the beauty of them all, I've got a NVIDIA GTX 1080 graphics card, which is eight gigabytes dedicated graphics. That itself costs 500 quid, just a graphics card. Um, yeah, it's got case, it's got LED lights, it's got fans, it's got obviously motherboard, there's all of that. I've got a 4K Samsung 28 inch screen to go with it. It is the bee's knees and I can reveal to you and I can't believe I spent this much on a computer, but it has cost me £2,100 on a computer. It is an absolute beast of a machine. I've ordered it, it's been custom made, um, so it might take a week or two for it to actually get to me. In the meantime, I'm going to try and edit these videos on my um, existing laptop. It might not go so well, but it might do. We'll try my best. No, I'll try my best, right? But yeah, the. Uh, <laughs> The PC I've got is an absolute beast. I cannot wait for it to arrive. I cannot wait to start using it, playing around with it, editing with it, playing games with it, all sorts. I've, um, I went out last night and I've, um, we, I've ordered some carpet from a bedroom. I'm refurbishing, uh, not the bedroom, the box room. It's like a, my study that I'm using to edit and play games in. So yeah, I went to Carpet Right. I've only bought a new carpet. That cost 200 quid. I uh, started dec decorating it yesterday color scheme is gray and red so uh, yeah it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good looking room hopefully I've got a sofa in there and everything it's nice just a little bit of a chillax room 
So yeah, I cannot wait for that computer. Two thousand one hundred pounds I've spent on it so far, and I probably will upgrade it in the future. I wanted to get more RAM. I wanted thirty-two gigabytes of RAM, but that was a couple of hundred quid extra, I think, on top. And um, yeah, so I <laughs> could, couldn't go for it in the end. I've also uh, paid for this really cool touchscreen fan control, which goes on the front. I, sh I will do a video on it. It's going to be absolutely amazing. But yeah, I can't wait. Anyway, let's crack on the car then. Okay, we're officially in Cardiff. Just taking it nice and slow. We, um, my boss told me that I needed to be there half an hour before, because um, that, apparently that's what you've got to do all the time. You're supposed to be there half an hour before your allocated time slot. Lean control, signal sound, blah, 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 blah. So, this link then. Yeah, so um, the, the text said half past four. So I, um, aim to get here for four o'clock and I am on schedule to be here at four o'clock however he already anticipated the half an hour um, time slot to turn up earlier so I'm actually not supposed to be here till five o'clock half an hour early half past four um, but I'm actually turning up at four, four o'clock so uh, yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm an hour earlier than what I need to be and I'm supposed to be half an hour earlier but never mind I can get the uh, Get the pallets on the end ready to go, do you know what I mean? Take off the ratchet strap, just get ready. Um, also, I've had, before I started driving, I had a look um, at the road I'm supposed to go down. And also, I just double checked whether I needed to go down uh, to, to be at the front of the store or the back of the store. And from what I can tell, I need to be at the back. Because it's not saying about going through the front. The paperwork says park in their car park. And the only bit of car park I can see is at the back of the store um, which is St David's place or something or other so that's where I'm gonna go I'm gonna go into the back and if, it, if I need to go to the front then let's say be it but I'm gonna go to the back first that's the plan but I don't know whether it's the right place we'll find out in a few minutes time but um, yeah I don't know if I am going in the right way or not we'll find out Still not enjoying doing the night shift. <laughs> I don't. I like driving. There's nothing wrong with driving. It's just the fact that I'm, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be working during the night. I mean, my boss is seeing it as a as a night out. I just go to sleep. But the other guy who does this says he doesn't get to sleep because it's just too noisy. So we'll, we'll see. We will see. Nearly here anyway. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. All right, we're looking for Queen Street, St. David Centre. I'm hoping this left lane goes right, or at least bears right. I'm gonna get in the middle lane. Um, yeah, right lane. Get in the right side lane, it's all clear. We need to go up there. Hmm. <clears throat> ah, there's Sainsbury's. So this is the way I was going to go in, Queen Street and go down to the front of the store and all these cars go and there's some bollards that I was hoping could be removed but I don't think that's going to be the best way to go
No. So it's got it's gotta be the back. Gotta be the back way in. Green lights. Just haven't seen any signs yet. I want to go straight on, but I can't. Road ahead closed, follow square. Mm, that's fair enough, but can I actually get in that way? I wanted to go straight on. I might be about to make a massive cock up. Sat now was telling me to go left under that bridge, but I'm not going to, but I could get under there, 16.3. Okay, I've got to stop to work out where I am. Okay, you're going to have to do without me having a proper mic for a sec. Whew. I just had to run up ahead because that looks like a very tight corner for me to take. There's also a height limit, so I just want to double check I can definitely get down there. Looks like I can. So we're going to give it a go. But I haven't got my mic on, so I do apologise. Yeah, it's fine, i just park up here, because if I couldn't get down to right, the right hand side, I would have had to do a U-turn here. Doable, but I don't really want to. <sighs> At least now I know that I've got to come in this way. I uh, wasn't anticipating that road to be closed. You can get out that way by the looks of it, but you can't get in. Right. Let's give this a shot. It's going to be tight. It's not too bad, I've just got to mind the posts. Thing. I just got to get around this left hand corner coming up now, not this one, the next one. Because normally I'd be coming from the right hand side straight down. I'm done. That's very tight, especially with cars there, like there is. Black car out of the way as 
yourself and to make it Responsible and see me in advance, wanting to indicate. Yeah, it looks like he has. That's good. It's also confirmed to me that lorries can come down here. City driving. Come on. I have to go up this curve now just to straighten up because that vehicle was there. Speak to somebody. Hello. Hello, mate. Yeah, I got a delivery for um, boots. Where, mate? The boots. Okay, no worries. Whereabouts do I go, mate? I've not been here before. If you go right to the top, take your second left. Yeah. It's on your right hand side. All right, cheers, bud. Major anxiety. Second left on the right. Wow, well, I can only see two lefts, so it must be down here. My beacon's on just so I can be seen a bit more. See if I can find someone. <sighs> See you in a bit. Okay, so here's the situation. We're back in the cab. It's still raining. I've just been chilling out really for the last few hours, uh, trying to get to grips with the whole working time and when I'm gonna have my breaks and things like that. So basically, I started at one o'clock this afternoon. I need to be back in my yard, taco out by four o'clock in the morning. Otherwise, I go over a 15 hour working day but um, in order to get home before four o'clock I need to leave here before two o'clock in the morning if I'm still here after two o'clock in the morning then I need to wait until three o'clock in the morning because then I've had a nine hour rest and then my working day resets and I can go back to the yard when I go back to the yard I can then have another nine hour rest to say I got back to the yard for six o'clock in the after uh, in the morning just for example nine hour rest it means I can then start at three o'clock in the afternoon and then 
do an hour fifty now a day. It's a lot to get your head around. Um, even for someone like me who pretty much knows the working time quite a bit. Um, but when I say someone like me, just a typical driver, do you know what I mean? But when it's something new, it's really hard. Tomorrow shouldn't be an issue, or, and the rest of the week, because it'll be a case of starting work. So tomorrow, for example, I've got to come back here. I've got to be here for half past seven in the evening. So I'll probably start about half past four in Swindon. Uh, bearing in mind, I will be awake all day. I'm going to go home. To this I'm going to get some sleep now. Uh, then drive home, then get a bit more sleep and wake up around about 10 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, in the morning, sorry. So I'm going to be awake all day, and then I'm going to start work half past four, then I'm going to get here for half past seven, then I'm going to unload everything, and then by, by which time it's going to be nine, ten o'clock. And then I'm going to go to bed, have a nine hour rest while I'm sleeping, go to bed, and then sort of five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning or whatever, wake back up again and go back to the yard. So it's fine... Uh, Monday to Thursday because I'll be dri driving here, unloading, going to sleep, waking up, driving back, going home. Do you know I mean that? And it's really, really simple. It's really easy. It's probably easier than the container work, to be honest with you. But I'd rather do the container work. <laughs> so yeah, time now is eight o'clock at night. Um, I would pretty much be getting into bed around about now anyway, um, because I'd be waking up at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm actually going to be waking up even earlier than that. Then driving home, or back to the yard, then driving home, and then get a couple more hours sleep. So, I'm going to go to sleep, um, and I will see you in the morning, in about 4 hours to fart time, 4 or 5 hours time, something like that. So, um, yeah. See you in a bit. It's 10 to 1 in the morning. I know you can't see me, so I'll just turn that light on. 10 to 1. They've just finished offloading me. Ugh. I've had a few hours kip. So now we're ready to go back. I just want to fill out the paperwork real quickly just to say when we departed. So it's pretty much, pretty much 0100. 0100. Excellent, hey, so that can go back in there. I do need to write something else on it when I actually park up so I know when I clocked off. That can go in there. I've uh, got paperwork in here which I need to give back to them tomorrow because they, they've given me their copy as well. Ooh. So I'm going to keep that out so I can remember. Now I just need to do a bit of house maintenance. So I'm ready to go. Put that down there.
that's it. Yeah, right, mate, am I good to go? Yeah, you just drove down, mate, it's not bad to go. Ah, cheers, buddy, thanks. done for the day so that's not the paperwork I need that's not the paperwork I need that's the paperwork I need 
Ugh. I mean, as far as uh, as far as working goes, it was an easy day. I've driven about two hours there, two hours back. So I've done four hours driving, which is not an awful lot of driving, is it? And the rest of the time, I don't know, I've done an hour's work, other work in the back of a pump truck, getting all the pallets off. And then apart from that, I was on rest, walked into town, had a couple of pints of coke. Oh, I really fancy coke now. And um, oh, the caravan's making noise, it scared the crap out of me then. And uh, yeah, then we got back to the cab and just basically fell asleep. Had to get some sleep in, otherwise I would have been knackered by now, 3 o'clock in the morning. So we finished at 0300, started at um, 1 o'clock, so that's 1, 2, 3, 12, 13, 14 hours. 14 hours on duty, but at least 7 of those hours was um, asleep. <laughs> not necessarily asleep, but not working. Let's do the speedo. Cool, right. So that's me done for the day. Tomorrow I've got to go to the exact same place, but it's booked in for half past seven. Which means I'm probably going to start around about half past four in here. Get to uh, the place where I've got to pick up the trailer. By the time I've got the trailer on, it'll leave me two hours to get to Cardiff. Obviously it's going to be Monday rush hour traffic as well, so I'm assuming I'm going to get caught up in some sort of traffic. So I might have to leave earlier than four, I'm not sure yet, but... At the moment, that's the time we're leaving. So yeah, anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, until next time, drive safe. Bye bye.